maybe one little thing I'll touch on. Some people are, are uh, conscious of, of forgeries, that there's some fake Bon Lewis's out there. Um, truthfully, we haven't encountered a lot of them. You know, I've maybe found maybe two or three really good ones, you know, but you can still tell that uh, there's just not something quite right about them, and some are very obvious fakes. Uh, now that the value has reached a certain level, we would probably be more cautious of that. We'd be more conscious of providence and history and so on. Uh, the one thing with mods work, if you did a forensic test on a Mod Lewis, the paints that she used are not available today. They're old paints from marine paints, house paints, lead paints, uh, you know, and that's why you'll find often a variation of shades on the surface of a Mod Lewis uh, because the red just happened to be a gloss paint and the green just happened to be a flat paint and that was where it came from in the can. So, uh, so that's one of the, the distinct ways to look at a Mod Lewis and sort of tell that it's not been a fake painting. Uh, but there's people who can very cleverly, you know, fake anything. Uh, but uh, mods are harder than what you think. Like the way she painted, she because of her arthritis, she basically painted with her body, not her hands, you know. And when she made a stroke, it was a single stroke, and it was a single stroke. And she didn't go back and repeat over, and she didn't blend her paints. So uh, it was just uh, just a little comment on the the uh, the clamshells, and <coughs> those started out as mixing trays. Basically, they were she had a bunch of these. They were actually ash trays most of the time, is because she smoked like a train, <laughs> and uh, and so but the uh, these would become little trays of which she could pour some of the green paint and some of the red paint, and she also used sardine tins, which was one of her favorite things, something that was shallow. She didn't need a lot of paint at a time, but basically she went from one to the other and she painted that color from that brush. And the one thing she always used was good brushes. She learned in the early days, because she used to do hand signs and calligraphy. Her brother ran the, the local uh, cinema in, uh, in Digby and he would need signs for a movie that's coming to, to town, so he'd get Maud to do these little signs, so she did these sign lettering. So she always knew that she needed good brushes to do sign lettering. And uh, so right through to the end of her days, she always used good brushes.